Officer Reese considered many things as he approached. They were taught to avoid erratic drivers. Experience showed that people drive this way for many reasons. Reese shouted for the driver to show his hands as he approached. He heard only crying. He ran over and opened the driver's door to be shocked. Jackson Police Officer Jordan Reese had a bad month. Callouts increased as tensions rose. Third generation cop Reese worked old school. Reese was now in trouble with a disciplinary committee. He fought crime aggressively. He went too far. Reese was a cowboy. He was reckless for entering dangerous situations without backup. Reese was warned. It continued. The other penalty was his worst. Being placed on traffic duty was a nightmare for a cop like Reese, who loved being in the thick of the action. He was bored after only a few days. Things worsened on day five. Reese cursed his ridiculous uniform during evening rush. He saw teens nearby. Reese disliked modern society. Growing up with a father and grandfather that were cops, Reese came from a generation where the police were respected. Teens passed him. They mocked him on their phones. He lamented the changes. He then noticed a kid's comment. Reese stopped and glared at them when one called him a rent a cop, but they laughed and ran away. Reese grumbled. If you like my videos, don't forget to like or subscribe. Thanks in advance. He worried about becoming a law enforcement meme or post. After the incident, he heard a commotion down the road. Reese was used to boring traffic duty shifts. Except for fender benders, nothing exciting happened. Today's different. Reese's dull day changed instantly. He acted on adrenaline. He heard mumbled screams behind him. Reese saw a small crowd facing the same way. He looked past the crowd and saw a car's taillights turn the corner. He sensed something was wrong. Reese scanned the intersection. He decided the few motorists left could handle it without him. Reese ran toward the car from his post. After identifying himself as an officer, he saw that most people on the curb were white-faced with fear. One woman pointed to the car he saw. It zigzagged down the road. Reese felt vulnerable. He had never walked behind a car. Thankfully, the vehicle was suspiciously slow. The driver was zigzagging and obviously sick. Reese's heart raced as the car approached the next intersection. It veered toward the pavement. Beware! Reese shouted, hoping the crowd moved quickly. Thankfully, nearby pedestrians noticed and avoided it. The car sideswiped two parked cars before stopping. The crowd screamed in shock. Reese cautiously approached the car. He demanded the driver appear. He only heard crying. The driver's side shocked Reese. Reese's torch illuminated the darkness. He was relieved to only have a whistle. The driver jumped out of the car, crying. Reese was confused. A child had taken the car for a joyride. Reese was unprepared. He initially suspected a drunk driver or a fugitive. A child driving the car surprised him. The four-year-old boy looked young. Reese held him as he cried uncontrollably. He calmed the child, frantically checking him for injuries. The child survived. Given the danger, it was a miracle that the child and pedestrians were unharmed. Reese contacted the child's parents after running the vehicle's plates. Mom arrived quickly. She was shocked to see her son with her car. The boy was home with his mom. She rested while his dad worked. Kyle, a resourceful child, took his mom's keys and went, vroom, vroom. Relieved and laughing, Reese returned to his station. He learned a timeless lesson. Law enforcement was never boring. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next video.